With school in full swing here in October, it's time to put the spotlight on a pivotal part of any student's school day. We're talking about lunchtime. Lunch at many schools throughout Wisconsin is doing more than just providing nutrition to these kids. It's helping to educate them on where their food comes from and also helps to support local farmers. Now, did you know this? October is Farm to School Month across the nation, and here to today to tell us a little bit more about the program is the 67th Allison Dairyland. Zoe Brooks, welcome back. Good morning, Michael. Thanks. So, that. what is Farm to School? So Farm to School is a statewide program here in Wisconsin that's supported by many local partners, including University of Wisconsin, UW Extension, and other state agencies to really bring in locally sourced foods into school cafeterias and classrooms to educate these students about where their food comes from. And over 500,000 students here in Wisconsin are involved with the Farm to School program. Now, how do schools get involved in this program? Well, this program, again, goes through those agencies, and you can visit farmtoschool.org to learn more about this program and how to sign your classroom or your school up. But really, it sources to bring in those local foods from local surrounding farms of that school and educate those students about that as well. And schools are really turning to more healthy option these days. So mm -hmm. this is a good way to do that as well. Exactly. It's really promoting healthy eating habits and introducing new foods to these students. And foods that are brought into these schools from local farms range from beets to cauliflower to cottage cheese to maple syrup. So it covers all sorts of different food groups and really introduces and lets these kids know the fun ways you can prepare veggies or fruits. And why is it important to educate these kids? It is so important to let these kids know about where their food comes from because when they're at school, they have to learn that that food isn't coming just from the lunch lady or it's not coming from a grocery store shelf. It's coming from farms that are right in their backyard, basically. And it's really important to let them know who is producing it and how it's produced as well. And when these programs take place, it also helps local farmers. Yes, it does. So it creates an additional avenue for these farmers to send their products. A lot of these farms are utilizing local farmers markets or local community organizations to get their product out there. So having a school partnering with them is a great way to support their business and also really to support the local community. Now tell us about Farm to School Month and Food Day. Yes, so Farm to School Month celebrated across the nation, but we're celebrating it here in Wisconsin, especially on October 24th, and that is Food Day. And here in the Great Lakes region and in Wisconsin, we're celebrating with the Great Lakes Great Apple Crunch. And that is collectively crunching into a delicious Wisconsin apple at noon on October 24th to celebrate Food Day and really bring awareness into the food that is in these schools. And where is that again? And that is all across Wisconsin. Okay. Any school can participate. If you can't do it at noon or even on the 24th, you can do it any time in October to celebrate Farm to School Month. But the collective crunch will be happening there on the 24th. And where can people find more information about Farm to School Month? Again, you can visit their website. That's www.farmtoschool.org. Zoe Brooks, thank you so much for coming well, in yet for again. Me. It's been great. All right. Well, next we'll have a full look at your weather authority forecast. We'll be right back.